Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Yes, right. Biography from Warren Parkin over here. Criminally insane. Really? I can't move him. Right, so the criminally insane have got to stay where they are. They've got to stay where they are. Whereas, like, this dude here, Tim Lutheran, who's asleep up here, I can move him. He's maximum security. I can put him in one of the others. I can put him into protective custody should I need to. They've got suspicion on them at the moment, but the uh, suspicion is not terribly high. And there is our graveyard. That was the other bit that I wanted to do, was I wanted to make a graveyard. So I can move the gravestones around. We can't really do very much else to it. But there's our graveyard to commemorate the fallen. The, the people that didn't quite make it. The, the, the people that gave their lives building this entire facility. You run down here. A gravestone is supplied for every death that takes place in your prison. It says 99 plus. So is that one that is given free of charge? If I go and put down a whole load more, is am I going to run out? Have I got to go and buy them? Have I got to buy extras on top, or have I really lost this many people? Ah, no, max amount placed. That is it. That is the number of people that have died in his prison. That is an insane number of people that have died in his prison so far. That ain't right. <laughs> that really ain't right. We, we've got some serious issues in this prison, haven't we? Um, we? We have got some rather serious issues. Intake in here, filled to 868. I've got more people incoming. Only 34 Supermax incoming. And I have got space for 30 medium security. i got space for quite a lot of maximum security. Minimum and medium in there. They all need to come in. Supermax is 350 out of 448. I'm getting close to having maximum capacity on all of those. So what I'm going to do this time... Is I'm going to take in... Everybody. Until everything is completely full for a minute. So next intake is 148. Supermax... I don't have anybody coming in. Fill to capacity. I've got available 100, but I'm going to fill all of those to complete capacity now. 24 minimum, 30 medium, 25 maximum, 34 super max, and 35 criminally insane. I don't know if I'm going to have room for everybody to come in. How many guards have I got? 490. I've got 431. I've lost five, uh, four guards already. I need to bring in four more guards. I'm going to put those guards in here. One, two, three, four. You're going to start work right in this canteen. I'm hoping that will help you out. Why are they not going up into this one? Why are they all coming down into this one down here? And they're not getting enough food either, are they? For whatever reason, they only seem to be going into this canteen and not up into this canteen. When they should be using both. The cooks don't seem to be using both canteens either. Maybe I should get more cooks. How many cooks have I got? At present, we've got 143 cooks. Let's get a couple more. One, two, three. There, right. I've now got a couple of extra cooks. We will just go to deployment in here. We will make sure it is supermax. This is Supermax in here. I've got a few people sat in there, not doing anything. So they should, in theory, be able to go in round there. There's no way I'm getting no deaths. Not unless I lock everybody down. And there goes the meal time again. So some of them are moving up into there. Most of them are just trying to come into this one down here. Now, I suspect it's because that one is a little bit closer than that one there. And that's why they're only moving into this one. So what we're going to want to do is just move the door. If I move the door to directly opposite here, they should take care of that. They're not able to get here fast enough. I could put another door on this side. No, I won't do that. But I will put the two doors together. But up here, the cooks just 
aren't putting any food out onto these canteen. They're, they're just putting food in here. So now the prisoners are all trying to come into this side of the canteen. And there's nobody coming up into this one. And that bit I don't understand. Why aren't the cooks putting things in both sides? Not really sure about that. I don't know if there is a specific reason for it, but um, I think things seem to be happening. Things seem to be going on as they should. What I will do here, though, is that's just got to be moved over a little bit. So I will go into objects on here and down to there I want a ah, metal detector. Oh, no, I don't want to do it like that. I want to move this one over a little bit. Right. Get rid of that. That door wants to go there. That door wants to go there. That light can temporarily move over to there. That metal detector can go there. And that metal detector can go there. Then I will have a look at the utilities. That's not going to make any difference to the utilities. Apart from potentially losing power under there. We will have to just keep an eye on that. So let them do that bit a minute. That bin has got to be moved. That one can move to there, and then that one can move to there like that. So they'll move these things around. Those two have now been moved. They've got various things going on here. The power lines haven't been ripped out to move that over. That is fantastic. So that's working as intended. I want to put just some ordinary sort of patterned well concrete floor on there really we want to put that into there like that and then I want to go with walls and doors in here and this has got to be plain concrete wall for that bit there like that and finally we want to do flooring over here I want to put two lots of sandstone into there I want to put two lots of grass into there and then I want to move that light over to there. And that should be everything that moved over. And then these are all in like the same position. Everything is absolutely fine. Everything is fine. The place may be burning down around our ears. And everybody may be killing everybody. But it's all good. It's all good. Everything is fine. We've got no issues. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. There, the door is being moved. The wall is being built. This has now been put in place. We've got the flooring being done. It's all good. It's all good. It all seems to be working as intended. You're causing problems. Dump prisoner uniform. Okay, that prisoner there needs to be taken. He's being taken off the solitary. We've got... Not that many people in solitary at the moment. I think what we've done is we've killed off all of the really violent ones. Minimum security, I got 60. I've still got the big lot of prisoners coming in in the morning. I haven't had them turn up yet. So that's going to be uh, 34 supermax. That's going to take us up to almost 400 supermax prisoners in here. I've got my graveyard down here. That's looking even better now. There is my graveyard. That is all the people that have died in our prison and that is increasing on a daily basis that is increasing on a daily basis at a frightening rate it really is right that that is um quite insane just how many people we have got in there there's the forestry area and i see that they've gone and planted some different trees in there rather than the standard like just what we've got so despite the fact that i've got forestry here quite clearly um, apparently that was the wrong sort of forestry. I would like to add a little bit of grass around the edge of there and over to there. And then a bit of sandstone to fill in that footpath there. That is now done. I would like to add some lights down through here, which I will do while we're running along. Um, remove that one. I want to do it like that there and start bringing these down like this over there and then you down this side 
will also be brought down like that. That one into there. And those in as well. That light there. Need to move that one. Which I will do like that. And then I can go back into objects again. And keep placing more. I've had three deaths so far today. Uh, seven deaths. See all of these deaths? They're just piling up. Um, Eleven. I'm thinking I might go and investigate what's causing all of these people to die in a minute. Might be a good idea. I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Do I... Do, do I uh, that's fifteen. Fifteen is a little bit more severe than normal, isn't it? There seems to be a little bit of a higher rate of deaths than I'm normally being subjected to in this prison. There's a lot of people running around. Alright, that's ni 19. Things are definitely looking a bit sour here. We're at least on the plus side. <laughs> this is insane! Look at the piles of people, but 25 deaths. Oh, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. On the plus side, I don't get riots. Right? I've got so many prison guards that I don't have any problems with people rioting. Yeah, th this is what happens. We don't get riots. We just get this happen instead. All right, there's so many guards here. One guard for every two prisoners. They can quickly suppress anything that happens. And then the rest of the prisoners are fairly docile after all of this. <laughs> oh, this is insane. I think I need a bigger mortuary. Uh, danger level is increasing. Staff morale is low. 31 death. Oh, oh dear. Uh, I literally just said I don't get riots. Right. Bang up. Send all willing prisoners back to their cells. Guard response. You may click on the map to call nearby guards over to a location. Free fire. Armed guards to use lethal force. Snipers will no longer fire warning shots before taking a target down. Use free fire. Shoot them. And bring in the riot police. Bring in all the riot police. Bring them all in. Right. We are dealing with this. I've got 50 prisoners rioting. I've got my my good prisoners should be doing what they're supposed to do. There's... Th <laughs> the riot guards are a little bit um, preoccupied just for a minute. that They're not able to do anything. Uh, so I can take... I can take that squad and I can bring it in here. I'm going to dump them right in the middle of there. What do I do? Do I right click? I do. I right click to bring them in. You right click that lot in there and right click that lot in there. Somewhere like that. Okay. 53 deaths today. Hopefully my workforce aren't going to... 10 prisoners are rioting, 9 prisoners, 14, 15, it's going up to 20, it's climbing again. I've got so many guards here. Right, guard response. This is where the riot seems to be. There's a little bit of rioting going on there. There's a little bit over there, but honestly that's not much in a way of... This isn't really a riot over here. This is the problem over here. So... I've got the riot police. They're turning up. Guard, when activated, you may left-click on the map to call nearby guards over to a location. More clicks will call more guards. Right, let's get some more guards in there. So I got, I got more guards turning. There we go. Look, see, we got more guards turning up. People down here, they've all got their tasers. They're bringing them out. 26 prisoners. I think I'm doing pretty well here, to be honest. I've got some prisoners over this side that think that they're going to riot. But honestly, it's, it's not actually happening. They're being very quickly suppressed and dealt with. The only ones that I've got some serious problems with are this lot here. And now they're not rioting anymore. They've been dealt with. They've been suppressed. 60 deaths in one day. 
60 people have died in a single day because of my magnificent management here in the prison. I think that is something that we can be proud of that is a new personal best. 60 people have died. This is insane. How many of them... Supermax prison. I don't know how many were Supermax. I got 63 Supermax turning up in the morning. How many guards? I've got 408 guards. I've, okay, half of those were guards this time round. That's less good. That's definitely less good. I've got plenty of infirmary over here. But what about staff with doctors? I've only got nine doctors. Let's get a few more doctors in here, shall we? I've only got six snipers. I'm wondering if I should increase the number of snipers that i got running around. Whether that would help. They've now been dealt with. I've got the riot police in here. I'm going to keep the riot police around just a little bit longer until um, the bodies have been cleared away and the issues have sort of been dealt with. I will disable free fire. Bang up is staying in place until I have got everybody out of the way. You know what? No, bang up can now be released. We can start dealing with everything. I've got all of these extra um, doctors in here as well. They're doing great. Now, what about the staff? Armed guards. Staff morale is currently 0%. 71 staff have died on duty. And they reckon they aren't being paid enough. So I tell you what, let's give them... A Considering that they've gotten through that quite well, I think we could give the staff a, um, a pay rise here, right? Pay raise. There, 30%. We'll, we'll boost them up. We'll give them a decent pay rise there. That should help the staff. Staff morale is 2% and increasing. 100 staff are happy in their job. That's a good thing. Riot police can now go. They can all go home. Danger is over. At least for now. And in order to commemorate this rather wonderful occasion, we need to go down to objects down the bottom here. And I need to bring that down there. Go to the gravestones. Like that. Go up and then... That's a lot of gravestones. I've got a tunnel being dug now. Right, there is all of the gravestones that we can do. There's the tunnel. Potential tunnel. We will do a tunnel search just for a minute. I'll let that one run its course. I've got 79 prisoners turning up in the morning, which should give us a bank balance of over a million dollars when that lot turns up. Which is going to be absolutely fan schmastic. I feel really this course, this course, this um, this series has about run its course now. Like I've I've done, I've, I've managed to actually reach a riot. That was my first riot, and we we managed to uh, we managed to suppress the riot before it got really really bad. And I was quite impressed with that. I was expecting a riot to basically end everything in the prison. And it was going to be, that it was just going to be game over. So coverage in here. I want to activate Ian Roach, Warren Parkin, Tim Lutheran. Any that are above 75% we're going to activate. I don't want to click on you. Um, he's dead. Paul Cantifer is dead. He didn't make it. Possibly died in the riots. So we're going to... I don't want to do that. Uh, there's nobody on that page. So it's these lot here. I want them to be dealt with. They're all going to come over. Why have I got... What's going on here? Right, I've got more potential CIs. Let's, let's bring those in to start with. Recruit. We bring in more potential CIs. Experience. Recruit. And you... Recruit you as well. Oops. Uh, take that one. And take that one as well. Okay. There's a good start. And then we want to go up to here. 
They're all ready. That dude right there. Like that. Three minutes until I've got more prisoners turning up. I see nobody else who is a potential CI at the moment. Right, there's there's several CIs around now. Oh no, there's a new one. There's one right there. Let's have you. Extremely tough. They're busy doing the tunnel search at the moment, but I've not found any tunnels. We've had another death. I'm going to stop the tunnel search now. I think that's, um, we're, we're not getting anything going on with that. Uh, a death right here. Who died here? You. Oh. That was one of my snitches. Andrew Thomas had already marked him as a... Oh, wait a minute. Right, you. This is what we got to do here. i got to take you right there. Recent misconduct. I'm going to go to there. Medium security. You are moving to protective custody. You are now protective custody. That snitch is already dead. Then I've got this dude right here. He's ex-law enforcement. He's also going to protective custody right there. This is what we got to look out for. We've got to look out for any of these arrows like this these target things yeah these are the ones i've been told i gotta be looking out for so as soon as you see one of them you hit protective custody like that because that's where they've got to go they can't stay in general once that's been hit uh they've got to go protective custody so that dude right there is he is he dead Uh, we've got the alarms going off here. I don't know if he's dead or not. I think he's dead because he's in there. Right, that dude right there. He's... Is he the legendary one? Let's move back from that horrible screeching. Supermax, protective custody... I don't know if he's dead or... I think he's dead. So moving into protective custody is not really going to make much difference. But then I've got this dude right here. Now, who's the legendary one? It's... No, that's the legendary one over there. That's him right there. Character, legendary. This prisoner is a legend of the criminal underworld's numerous skills and abilities that make them very dangerous. Extremely strong, extremely tough, extremely volatile... Uh, deadly, fearless, he's an instigator. I need to keep... Ha so what do I do with him? Do I put them into protective custody? Do I throw him straight into solitary and throw the key away? I don't know how to actually deal with these guys. Like, is it... I don't know... It's not possible. Like, I've got lockdown 24 hours, escort to infirmary, solitary... I don't know if it's possible to, like, put him permanently in solitary. I'd like him to stay permanently in solitary and never come out of there. This legendary bloke. Right, he can go straight to solitary from there. We'll see if that makes any difference. Um, there's a bloke right there. He's got to go to protective custody. Because he's a potential target. So there was that dude right there. He's going straight into protective custody as well. That one's dealt with. Okay, let's play things along again. I don't see at the moment any more of these targets coming up. These are now the protective custody people. Anyone that's got protective custody, they should hopefully take them into... Like that bloke there, he's got to go. There. I don't know if I'm doing his right or not. Why is he over there? Is he unconscious? I don't really know what's going on with that bloke. Is he trying to make a run for it? My legendary dude right there. He's already been placed in handcuffs. He can't go anywhere. That's something I'd like to know is, is there a way that I could lock up the legendary ones permanently so that they're never, ever able to escape? 
Right, that's what we'd like. We'd like them to never be able to leave that bit at all in any way. I got another... St well, that one's dead. Yeah, uh, th th there's nothing happening about him. He's now dead. Uh, so I've got a few of these already. Ex-law enforcement. They should be escorted down into here. I've got a couple of padded cells there, but there's not a lot else. I've got no target arrows coming up. There's two deaths. We've got these here. They should be escorting these. What's going on? He's he's dead. He's dead as well. Huh. You know, this isn't very good. All these people that have been marked as targets, they're dying before they even put them into protective custody. It could really do with them being escorted to protective custody. Let me come out of there like that, and let's just see if these guys are being escorted. Like, he's being escorted. He's being... Okay, they are moving them. They are moving them around where we want them to go. That is helpful. Quite what's going on. I've got a hearse here. I think I'm waiting on some more dead bodies. And there's a lot of dead bodies here. There are quite a number of dead bodies being stacked up in places. That's all good over that way. And then lunchtime is happening over here. These guys are all eating. They're coming out again. They're still not using this canteen, though, and that's the bit that I don't really understand, is why are we only using the one? Is it because of these all the way around? Is that what it's got to do with? I can only assume that that is the reason. It's because there's not enough of those tables around, whether I need to have, like, an extra kitchen or something. Um, I've got these both the same, but it seems that the cooks are only filling in these tables, these serving tables. Oh, no, they are, they're using those serving tables as well. I guess we just have to kind of wait and see, really. See how it's going. I've got over a million dollars now. I've got food dumped in the middle of the road down there. We've got more stuff coming in over here. There's not really a lot for me to do, just for a second. Got some protective custody people that have been escorted in, and that's happened. So I'll go back to intelligence, and I'll go to my informants over here. I've got... Nothing that I can see as potential issues. I've got another potential CI in here who I can recruit. And then we go over to our main solitary block over here where we seem to be picking up quite a lot of people in here. So I can recruit you. Experience, recruit you. That dude. Take you. That dude right there. Recruit that one. Now, where is that legendary bloke that we were somewhat concerned? There he is. That's the legendary one that we were somewhat concerned about. And take you. End punishment. Supermax Lee. Actions. Solitary 24 hours. Okay, I didn't want to do that. I want to stay on him. So we've got that legendary bloke and I got that legendary bloke. So I've said, you take him back to solitary. He's, he's going solitary for 24 hours. And then I've got that legendary one over there. I got another legendary one there. You. You are legendary. Experience. Character. Legendary. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.